Steve. What the... The unicorn part, isn't it? I'm taking it to the next level. Right. Can't Tim do it? I need to talk to you. No! It's like asking why to do a show without Morecambe. I am supposed to be the funny one, you know. Can't you tell? Oh, Mum, can you help me out with that, please? I knew we should have got an elasticated one. Listen to me, love. There's something important I need to tell you. Well, I've got two minutes. Oh. Well, as soon as you get back. Right. Oh, check it out. Hello, boys and girls. I am Mr. Sparkle, and this is my unicorn, Tiny. Tiny by name, but not by nature. Just look at that horn. Don't wink when you say that. Gives it a different meaning. Drop the wink. Yeah, thanks. OK, see you later. Hi, Ray. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I can talk. Oh, right, OK. No, uh... Hey, me again. Um, listen, can you let me know you're OK? And I'm, I'm sorry again about yesterday. Um, I, should, uh, I should come over, talk face to face. I just got a text from Young Offenders, uh, the lad that thumped me. Oh, you OK? Oh, no, not really. I've just come to check that you haven't done anything stupid. Like what? Oh, you know exactly what. <sighs> Audrey, Steve has got a right to know. Emma could be his daughter. You haven't told him? Not yet, but I am going to. No, you can't! Emma took me into her confidence. Oh, I shouldn't have told you, and you certainly can't tell Steve. Honestly, she'll think I've betrayed her. Oh, she could be my granddaughter, Amy's sister. This isn't your secret to tell Liz, right? Right. Then you have got to tell Emma about Steve. No. She's got a right to know. They both have. And just imagine, if they find out we knew and we'd not said anything, then they're going to hate both of us. Fine. I'll talk to Emma. But remember, not a word to Steve. OK. It's got to come from her. Ray said Ali has been on the phone, wanted a meeting about her business plan. He's not happy because he thought I'd sorted it. But she knows the situation. Why is she pushing it? Well, because she's ambitious. I mean, you can't fault her for that, can you? To be honest, I do think it's a bit unfair that he doesn't want to work with her anymore. It's the reality. That's just business. Yeah, well, he wants me to talk to her. Tell her there's no point having the meeting that he's made his decision. OK, so talk to her. Yeah, but she's Ryan's girlfriend. It's going to make everything so awkward. Well, Ali is a grown-up. Sooner or later, she's bound to realise she's not qualified to be the events manager of a hotel chain. But you, you've got, you've got masses of experience. You're a brilliant organiser. You're good with people, you're creative, you're good with the budget. I mean, you, you deserve it. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Hey, sorry, what were you saying? Oh, uh, yeah, I have to go back to Stoke to file a report about the Mick Jagger incident. The... Yeah, I'll, I'll be as quick as I can. OK. Hey, listen, why you there? Can you, um, can you take this back to the jewellers, get it resized to a J? I mean, it's a great stress toy, but to be honest, I'm more stressed about losing it. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, OK, I'll see you later. OK. <sighs> Tyler? What have you done? What do you mean? Tell her the hammer this, will you? I've said you can't take that on the ferry, Mum. It cost me 200 quid. It's coming with us. We're going back to Northern Ireland with Dad. The cab's on the way. Who are you on the phone to? 
No one. She came home yesterday proper upset, saying you were just leading her on. Is that true? What? Of course not. Right, well, you best get round here, then, otherwise I have to say bye to my new mate and my new job. OK, OK, just stop her, all right? Use any excuse. I'll be there as soon as I can. Will you bring the suitcases down, love? Um, <clears throat> that was me boss. I've got to go pick up my pay packet. Well, can I not send it on to you? Apparently not, no. Just uh, cancel the taxi and I'll be two seconds. Well, hurry up! This isn't a club. It's Club Solo. Do you remember that, Gem? When I couldn't go out, I used to put the kids to bed, turn Terry Technics up, full blast, give it large in the living room, Club Solo. Great door policy, one in, one out, and the DJ always plays what the crowd want to hear. I remember. My bed used to shake with the bass. Yeah, I got your party in early, girl. Yeah, well, she's pregnant now, so she needs some peace. And thanks for asking how the scan went. Oh, that was going to be my next question. Hmm. What do you want to eat? Beans on toast with cheese on. Look, girls and fall some are doing good. Oh. You forgot to get the washing out. Sorry, sorry, I got a bit distracted with the tunes. Uh, my uniform's soaked and I've got to go to work. Don't worry, I will try it. And you've eaten all the bread. Nice one. I was just about to go to Fresco's. Now you could do with a bit of club solo. Let your hair down. You're way too uptight. I'll put the beans on you. Who needs bread anyway? You are kidding me. Ty, where are you? The furry's at six. It's about ten. Tyler, call me. Oh, that we. Can we talk, please? No. Uh, this is breaking and entering. Technically, it's not. There's nothing to say. You've made your feelings perfectly clear, or should I say, lack of feelings. I'm sorry about yesterday. I'm not. It finally proved to me that you don't give a damn. So we're off to live with Jade, yeah? He has his faults, but you know what? At least he loves me. But you don't love him. No, I don't. I love you. I love you. Or I did until I realised you've just been stringing me along all these months. No, 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 it's not like that. Robert, you virtually shoved me off that street yesterday. I'm so sick of being your dirty bee secret. Now get out of my house before I call the police. Twice. Twice. Brian's only managed it once. I have to do it myself most of the time. He even polishes my taps. Oh, a man that cleans the bathroom. <laughs> you are a lucky woman, Yasmin. Although sometimes I do feel a bit, um... What? Smothered's the wrong word, but he does want us to do everything together. And since the burglary, he's gotten very protective. Yeah, well, that's nice, though, isn't it? And understandable. Well, it is, but I do want to do things by myself. I had to stop him joining us for lunch. Do you play bridge? The card game. Well, it's only that, you know, Kenny's starting a bridge club, right? And Brian's been pestering me at the join. Well, I've never played before, and it uh, looks dead complicated. Well, it's not easy, but it's very rewarding. I used to play at the library club. Brilliant. That's sorted, then. What is? Well, you can partner Brian, OK? That means I get out of it, and you get to do something without Jeff. Hmm. And uh, <laughs> while you're playing, Jeff can come round and uh, polish me taps. <laughs> <laughs> Nice outfit. Cheers, mate. Can you smell something? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, Tiny had a tinkle on my leg. Well, it's more like a power jet. You ever seen us have a pee? I've suddenly lost my appetite. I won't be long. I'm just getting a coffee. Are you all right, love? How's your dad? Oh, he died last night. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's rubbish. No. Oh, I'm sorry to cry on you. No, don't be daft. Better than being peed on. <laughs> Oh, I'd never do that. Well, that's good to know. How's your mum bearing up? Oh, she couldn't care her less. She lives in Australia and she won't even come when I told her he was ill. Oh. Well, it is a long way away. Mm, she could have come. She's got family here and she used to live around here. 
All right. Well, anyone I'd know? Oh, she used to be a hairdresser. Fiona Brooker. No, don't ring a bell. She was probably called Fiona Middleton back then. So. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know her quite well, actually. Mm. Well, then you know what a selfish cow she is and why I've not seen her in years. Oh, come here. <laughs> Yes, she could be very strong-minded. What? Oh, that was not my fault. Oh, no, my dad's just died and I was having a wobble. Steve was just being kind. Oh, dear. Emma was just telling me about her mum. Someone we both know. Can we have that chat now? Now? Ridiculous, Emma. Well, I'm a stupid and common. Well, I never said that. I'm worth a few bumps in the beer, but not good enough to have a relationship with. Well, no, no, I, I do want a relationship with you. No, I... you don't. You have made it crystal clear. You're embarrassed to be seen with me. You don't want anyone to know about no, us. No, no, please, Vicky. Well, but please, I've had enough. Just go. Don't move to Ireland. I am begging you. Will you just go? We can make it work. Get out. No, wait, just Get listen out. to me. Get out. Listen Get to out. me, mate. Wait, wait, careful, careful, the baby. Oh, yeah, the baby, the baby. It's all about the baby. Just get out! You're not still doing the books, are you? I'm just uh, checking a few things. I mean, this can't be right. I mean, come, but it is. Oh dear, H how much has Evelyn lost you? Well, that's the point. Well, she hasn't. Yeah, by lowering the prices, she's actually sold more profits. Have gone up. Oh, well then. So, uh, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? She's a lying, annoying, scheming old bag. <laughs> She's also very, very good for business. Ah, that'll be my plan. Your plan? Hello, love. Hello. Hi, Summer. <clears throat> Thank you for coming round. I think she's feeling a little bit flat after all the excitement of India. <laughs> Asha, you've got a visitor! What are you doing here? <clears throat> um, a few of us are going down the red rack if you fancy it. Not at all. Oh, we're going to play rounders. I'm not in the mood, I'm sorry. Honey, don't be so rude. And you love rounders. I said I'm not in the mood. Oh, come on, we need you on our team. You know, Amy can't hit a ball and Tommy can't run, so if you don't join our team, we're going to get slaughtered. Right, I'll go and get dressed. Hmm? <laughs> Why did you call them? I just thought that what? maybe... That he was going to t help me love me? Persuade me to stay? Come here. Come here. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Robert doesn't care about us, Ty. He only cares about this baby. His fans still outside. What? Not slashed his tyres, have you? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> still going then? Yeah. You'll find a job and mates. And Jed will look after us. Well, he'll be there. It's better than what we're going to get from Robert. Okay. <laughs> um, hi, can I have a taxi to 25 Bellamy Street, please? As soon as possible. The station. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> you, um... 
You might want to cancel that taxi. I've got to get to work. Open your legs, the bum crap's still wet. I got us all a treat. Four bottles for a tenner. Bargain. So you've got wine that your daughter can't drink and I don't even like? Who was on offer? Got us crisps. And the bread? Oh, I'll, uh, I'll just bob to the corner shop. No, no, you won't. Sit down. You better sit, ma'am. Explain that. A 70 quid parking charge. Well, Gemma said I could borrow the car to go to Bongo's Bingo. I never said that you could get a 70 quid parking fine. I didn't do it on purpose. I was late. There was nowhere to park except on a yellow line. <laughs> Unbelievable. I know. It's a nightmare. Flaming council taking the mick, trying to screw us for money. I mean you. Well, what else was I supposed to do? Park somewhere else. There was nowhere else. Well, you better pay it today. I can't. You'll have to loan me. Are you out of your mind? I haven't got 70 quid. Well, you'll have to find it, because there's no way I'm paying for this. Chess! You bum crack! I'll live with it. Jem, if you could just loan me... No! No way! Not this time. This is your mess. You can fix it. My homemade lemonade. When life throws you lemons, make lemonade, as my mother used to say. And I've had a lot of lemons. Why are we running up for it? It's not cold. Feels it compared to India. Yeah, but you're going to be running around. So? Stop it. You sound like my dad. What's your problem? Ignore me. Just a bit tired. Jet lag. It's OK. I have made you a picnic. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry if I've been snappy with you and all. I have the skin of a rhino. Just get outside into the fresh air and enjoy yourself. Come on, can't wait to hear all about India. Sorry, I'm such a curry. I should have let you speak. It's no wonder you didn't ask me. Oh, you were going to propose now through your mouth. Let me try this again. Oh, hi, lovey. Oh, oh, sorry, I was just on my way in. No, no, come on, we've no one booked till three. Have your lunch. How did you get on with the funeral directors? Well, they asked me what I wanted. Cremation, burial, what kind of service and what the budget was. But they never told me, so I kind of made it up. I have no idea what I'm doing, Audrey. I've never even been to a funeral. Listen, I will help in any way I can, sweetheart. I've organised enough in my time. Thanks. You know, maybe I could get him a bench like this in celebration of the life of John Brooker. And I'd like a reminder. Somewhere I can be close to him. Yeah. Oh, God. You've got a lot of sequins in your head. Oh, <laughs> it picks up everything it does. Oh, dear. And when I was little, a wasp got stuck in it. Oh, no. <laughs> Screamed my head off. It got caught in the curls and it was just buzzing and buzzing. And I was screaming and shaking my head, but it wouldn't budge. Oh. And then my dad came to the rescue. Oh. And he was so calm. And he told me to keep still. It was going to be fine. And I trusted him. As I always trusted him. And he got it out. And he gave me a hug. And then I saw that it had stung him. Oh. And his finger was bright red and massive. And he didn't make a fuss. He didn't even say ouch. Oh, wow. He sounds such a really lovely man. Mm, yeah, he was. He was the best dad ever. You know, I've decided. I don't even want to know who my real dad is. I don't care. I just want to keep the memories I've got. My dad. 
always my dad. And that's the way it's gonna stay. Right, is this gonna take long? Because I want to get all this pee off my leg. And I want to get this off my chest. Oh, celebrating now. Oh, you've not got a new fella. You're not getting married, are you? <laughs> no. Well, what's happened there? Oh, it's not Amy, is it? It's about Emma. Oh. I know, yeah. She told me Fiona Middleton's a mum. Hmm. That's what I want to talk to you about. Poor girl. I mean, obviously about her dad, but Fiona is your mum. Well, actually, it seems that Emma's dad wasn't a real dad. She's only just found this out. Oh. Mm. Bless her. Yeah. Yeah, she, she doesn't know who a real dad is. Well, I shouldn't ask Fiona. Perhaps Fiona doesn't want to tell her. Well, that's her choice, I suppose. I mean, maybe he was a wrong one. Mm. Yeah. Or, well, maybe he's a good man. And maybe he's got a right to know he's got a daughter. If it seems that Emma's real dad was going out with Fiona in the late 90s. No. No. Coronation Street continues in half an hour.